Chapter 3 If you want to present a peace offering from the herd, use either a bull or a cow. The animal you offer to the Lord must have no physical defects. Lay your hand on the animal's head and slaughter it at the entrance of the tabernacle. Aaron's sons, the priests, will then sprinkle the animal's blood against the sides of the altar. Part of this peace offering must be presented to the Lord as an offering made by fire. This includes the fat around the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat around them near the loins, and the lobe of the liver, which is to be removed with the kidneys. The sons of Aaron will burn these on the altar on top of the burnt offering on the wood fire. It is an offering made by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. If you present a peace offering to the Lord from the flock, you may bring either a goat or a sheep. It may be either male or female, and it must have no physical defects. If you bring a sheep as your gift, present it to the Lord by laying your hand on its head and slaughtering it at the entrance of the tabernacle. The sons of Aaron will then sprinkle the sheep's blood against the sides of the altar. Part of this peace offering must be presented to the Lord as an offering made by fire. This includes the fat of the entire tail cut off near the backbone, the fat around the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat around them near the loins, and the lobe of the liver, which is to be removed with the kidneys. The priest will burn them on the altar as food and offering given to the Lord by fire. If you bring a goat as your offering to the Lord, lay your hand on its head and slaughter it at the entrance of the tabernacle. Then the sons of Aaron will sprinkle the goat's blood against the sides of the altar. Part of this offering must be presented to the Lord as an offering made by fire. This part includes the fat around the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat around them near the loins, and the lobe of the liver which is to be removed with the kidneys. The priest will burn them on the altar as food, an offering made by fire. These will be very pleasing to the Lord. Remember, all the fat belongs to the Lord. You must never eat any fat or blood. This is a permanent law for you and all your descendants, wherever they may live.